everyone, this is Score Chaser, and this is going to be awesome. Back in 2016, when the Nintendo Switch was first revealed to the world, they showed footage of Skyrim running on the system, and I got hyped as all hell for this game, because I had only started playing it about a year or so ago for my Xbox 360. The only difference was, when I bought it for my 360, I got it brand new from a Walmart for $5 when I got the Nintendo Switch version the following year, it cost me $59.99 US. Now, to me, that bump in price was worth it to be able to take a game as big and grand as Skyrim anywhere I went. But that $60 price tag was not worth it for everybody, and that gave a good indication to everyone what might happen with ports from older systems to this new console, and it started to gain the term of Switch tax. Now, in October, Capcom released information that they were going to be bringing Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil 1 Remake, and Resident Evil 4 to the Nintendo Switch. And a lot of people that are fans of the series, including myself, got really excited. But then a couple weeks ago, a very sad truth hit us that Capcom was going to be charging $29.99 each for these three games. Now you can be able to get Resident Evil 0 and 1 physically, although you'll only get Resident Evil 0 on the cartridge, and you can get that bundle for $60. Again in 2017, Capcom released the Resident Evil Revelations collection for $40. This only had Resident Evil Revelations 1 on the cartridge with a download code for Revelations 2. To me, this was a fair price, because these games are not even a decade old, and they were selling for 20 bucks a piece. Whereas Resident Evil 0, 1, and 4 are over 20 years old and have been ported to everything, including smart fridges. So, it's greed. That's just flat out what this is. It's greed. And not only that, but we're hearing that with Bethesda's release of Wolfenstein, uh, the new the Young Blood, I believe it's called? You'll buy a physical box, but all you'll get inside is a code. Now, <laughs> how ridiculous is this getting in this day and age? That when physical doesn't even mean anything anymore. But that's a whole other rant for a different time. But my main point in this is that money... Your money talks. It has a vote in what companies will do and are willing to do. Just like uh, with... Uh, the Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2, and the Mega Man X Legacy Collections that sold for the Switch, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. Capcom used the figures from those sales to determine there was an interest for Mega Man to make Mega Man 11. Now, I love Resident Evil. It's a very important series to me, and I have a very long history with it. So when Capcom announces that they're going to be releasing these games, and I don't buy them because I'm not willing to pay this ludicrous price for these games. And if a lot of other people do that as well, that's going to really show the company that the Nintendo Switch and its owners aren't interested in the franchise. When that is farther from the truth for a lot of us. So it becomes this double-edged sword. You know, do we not show interest in these games and purchase them and then not have any other ports or new games released for the system? Or do we take the hit just to protect the franchises that we care about? It's a very difficult thing to decide. I mean, I'm personally still on the fence myself on whether or not I want to invest that kind of money just to keep something that I love alive. And it's a very messed up thing to have to be put in that position as a consumer. That if you don't buy this product, we don't make any more of the stuff that you want for the hardware of your choice. And so now here we are. I'd like to know what you guys think about Switch Tax down in the comment section. Whether or not you think Switch Tax is a thing, whether you support it, whether you don't, and whether or not you're willing to give in to Switch Tax in order to protect the IPs that you love and cherish. As always, I'm Score Chaser, and remember, life stinks, play games.